Hi YouTube, my name is Jess. I'm a mother from Western Sydney, Australia. And I just want to say, I need to lose weight. Okay, so I'm going to start by saying that I am a stay-at-home mum of three. Um, well, they're not home with me, thank God. Freaking hell. Anyway, they go to school. So I have a 15-year-old, a 10-year-old and a 3-year-old. And I have a husband who is absolutely gorgeous. But... I need to lose weight. I just turned 30 this year, back in June, not that long ago actually, but um, I'm almost 100 kilos. I need to lose around 25 probably, uh, I don't really know, I guess. I have Hashimoto's disease, which is like a autoimmune disease, I have to take medication for the rest of my life. I've got a little bit high cholesterol and also, um, what do they call it, a fatty liver. So I guess They've told me that the only way to reverse... I, I can reverse the fatty liver and I can reverse the cholesterol. They've told me the only way that I can really do that, though, is to lose some weight. So, right by me is an M7 motorway, and there's a walkway on there. Well, there's also, like, a bike track, but it's a, mainly a walkway. And every day, I have to... I'm going to put my little one in a stroller, and I'm going to hit the pavement. I'm going to push that stroller for an hour a day, and just see what happens, I guess. I'm going to try to eat a bit better, of course. Um, I don't usually forget my medication, so I'm not really worried about that side of it, I guess. I just want to drop my kids off at school, come home, sort her out with some breakfast, and then shove her in the stroller and push her for an hour. I'm going to try to do that before I even eat breakfast, because I figure, like, it's good just probably, sorry I just burped, uh, it's probably good to get your metabolism going before you go and eat something. Um, I was going to start this weight loss program but it turns out it's going to be quite a bit of money, like $550, which, I mean when you're a mum, you know, well not mum, sorry, when you're, when you're part of a family of five and, you know, you've got school fees and bills and mortgages to pay and all that kind of stuff, I'm sure the vast majority of you will understand that, you know, you don't just have $550 laying around to spend on little old me to do a weight loss program. I just don't, I know that too, I think as a mum I would feel like a little bit like guilty, like I guess guilty about it. So anyways, as a bit of a motivation, um, hubby bought me a pair of Beats headphones, Solo 2s, which are beautiful, oh my god they're like bright pink, I'll show them to you one day, don't worry. Um, and I'm just going to put them on, put my music on and just punch out that hour of walking. I'm going to walk for half an hour as far as I can get, turn around and walk that half an hour back. So there is some really beautiful scenery actually on the walks um, for the M7. I guess the only thing I'm worried about is that parts of the M7 is right along the motorway so there's quite a lot of pollution. So I'm hoping that I don't have any issues or get sick from that kind of stuff because it's um yeah, I mean, like, I'm trying to do something good for my health, you know, something bad at the same time. Um, so I guess I'll see what, I, what happens there. Now, I'm really only just saying this YouTube channel because I just need to, I don't know, be accountable to something, someone, I don't know. If I'm just going to rely on myself, it's not going to work. I need, like, a tough love situation. So, like that too, I guess I need to to be document. I, I need to see the difference, I need to see change. If I get three weeks into this and I'm like getting discouraged, I want to look back at the first video and hopefully see some kind of change. Hopefully, like I'm getting skinny and not fatter, but <laughs> let's see what happens. Um, and so I guess I just want to do that, do exactly that, just document and see what happens. Um, in the process, it probably is only going to be like one video a week. I don't know if I have the time or the energy to do more than that. I also study part-time too, so um, that's mainly at night time though, so whatever. Uh, it's going to be in random places, so <laughs> today for example, I'm sitting on the floor in my bedroom because it's such a beautiful light coming in the window. Um, but tomorrow, or sorry, next week it might be outside, it might be in the kitchen, it might be when I'm on the toilet, who gives a flick, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah. You might see some of my kids in on the vlogs at times. Um, I have a 15 year old daughter, a 10 year old daughter, and a 3 year old daughter. So, no doubt one of them is going to make an appearance at least somewhere. In the meantime, if you want to watch, great. If you don't, that's no problem either. Uh, if you see my video and you have anything to add, leave comments. Hopefully, they're nice, or I'm going to have to like block you or some shit. I don't know what you do on YouTube. I don't know. Um, I look, I watch lots of YouTubers myself, so I watch Jacqueline Hill, I watch Manny, I watch Jeffree Star, I watch Patrick Star, I watch Trish Paytas, I watch, um, Tati, Tati's one of my favourites, love you Tati, um, oh, I love 
all the wildebeest dancers, the, everything about wildebeest. So like Janelle Janestra, um, Will himself, all that kind of stuff. I love all of them. I love Jade Chanot, Chanot, Chanot I think you pronounce it. Um, yeah, all those kinds of people. So from time to time I might try and do some dance routines. I used to dance, so I might do some dance routines. I don't know. I'll let you know. Anywho. This is all for now because I need to go and get Caitlin actually my oldest one from school. My middle one's at camp at the moment, so I'm a little bit freaking out. I thought it was gonna be cool about it, but I'm actually like a little bit freaking out. Like I'm just I don't know. I called my husband before and I was like, you know, I thought I'd be cool because she's like so annoying sometimes. But I'm just a little bit freaking out. I'll admit, I'm a little bit freaking out. I don't know what I'm gonna do. She's back tomorrow afternoon, so I'm not gonna like die or anything like that. She's got food and she's got like clothing and all that kind of jazz, but she's horse riding and all that kind of stuff, so I'm just like, uh, I'm a bit scared. Anywho, she should be fine. Hopefully. Alright, so I gotta get going, because I need to go and get Caitlin from school. In the meantime, um, I guess we'll see what happens. I'm probably gonna start tomorrow, because I'm not gonna wait till Monday, then I've got a whole weekend of junk and stuff like that, so get motivated for the weekend. Probably start tomorrow morning. Wish me luck. Bye.